What's up guys, the Beast and Jay here bringing you a look at Batman Arkham Knight. Um, now first off, let me just start off saying, A, we will just be looking in this video at some of the combat, and I just want to show you a little bit of Gotham City, and I'll probably take you through uh, the menu and show you um, the different upgrades and things of that nature. I'm going to try my best to keep this as spoiler free as possible. Now with that said, my game is post story, so you will hear some of the thugs maybe, I don't know how loud the game volume is going to be, I don't know if you'll, you have that good of hearing, but you might hear some of the thugs in the street start talking about things that happened during the game, you might get a look at some of the buildings uh, that have changed during the events of the game. So you have been warned, there might be spoilers, I'm going to do my best to keep this spoiler free, but uh, answer at your own risk. So uh, as you see right here, Batman looks amazing. I am playing in the Earth 2 skin. This is not the suit from the game. But um, let's first of all, let's start off by talking about just the freaking graphics in this game. This is easily the best looking Batman game to date. This game is gorgeous. Look at the rain effects hitting the streets, uh, the reflections, the lighting effects, the ocean. Oh my god, uh, everything. Look at the water off of Batman's cape. When the lightning strikes, you can see the rain reflecting off of everything. It's amazing. Um, just a beautiful game. So um, let's try and find some baddies to beat on here. And uh, we'll take a look around the city in the meantime. Um, so there's just, there's just tons of upgrades to talk about. I'm not going to be able to cover everything. Uh, I took notes on things I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, and when this game came out last week... Ooh, we got an interrogation right here. Uh, when this game came out last week... I, I There was a terrible storm in New Jersey, as you might have heard. I lost power for days, uh, so I wasn't really able to do everything I wanted to do. Um, so first off, let me just show you one of the new additions of the game. It's called the Fear Takedown. Really useful in Predator situations, but uh, you can also use it in just combat situations like these. So these are pretty much automatic takedowns. Instead of having to go in and uh, worry about taking down each guy individually, you will get a string of takedowns using Fear. So... We initiate that, and then you select your next target. Take him out. I could go on to take the next guy out. I'm not going to do that because I obviously want to inter interrogate him to get information about the Riddler's whereabouts. So let's take a listen to this. Who scares you more, Riddler or me? I'll tell you everything. How kind. I just wanted to give you a little, a little glimpse at uh, Kevin Conroy's voice because uh, he crushes it in this game easily some of his best work as Batman um, anyway back to what I was saying yes yeah, so we had a terrible storm I lost power for days I lost all the notes I was taking to my computer as I was playing this I wasn't able to get these videos up last week as I wanted to and I had a whole week of Batman planned uh, I'm gonna do them anyway I decided I'm still gonna do the Batman videos even though this information is kind of a week old at this point there might be people out there who still want to know the stuff who, who maybe haven't jumped into the game just yet not sure if they want to get it so I'm gonna show you around a little bit and um, show you some of the new stuff show you this beautiful city and just um, tell you what I think is cool about the game uh, if I had to rate this game, whoop, there's one thing right there. The, the, the whole city is against you at all times. This is end game content, and it's still everyone after me trying to kill me at all times. Uh, so let's go over there. We'll beat up some of these guys. Hopefully some of them will have some weapons on them so I can show you some of the new moves and uh, interrogate this guy because I am working on the Riddler challenges, which is usually everyone's final part of the game. It is my final part of the game. I did everything else. I'm just trying to get all of these Riddler trophies and things of that nature. So, um, we're gonna run in there and take out these guys. It doesn't look like anyone has any weapons on them to use. Um, and I want to find a bigger crowd of guys so I can really show you what's cool in this game. Um, but there's one thing right there you saw. Let's see if he tries to fight back. I don't think he's going to. No, he's not going to. Uh, sometimes the interrogations don't go as smoothly as you anticipated from other games. And they actually won't give you the information until you beat it out of them, which is amazing. It's an amazing addition to the game. Um, I want to try and find some guys with some weapons so I can show you some of the cool stuff Batman can do. But if we don't get to it in this video, no worries. I have uh, a Batmobile video I'm going to focus on solely on the Batmobile uh, content and what I think about it. It's a very controversial uh, subject I'm finding. So I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. And... Um, I'm also going to do a video on the dual play feature where you can fight alongside of people like Catwoman, Robin, Nightwing, um, and some others I'm not going to mention because they're really cool little surprises. But uh, 
I'm gonna do another video on that, and uh, when we get into there, I can show you some of the other some of the other cool new stuff to combat. But um, they really give you a lot of your defense here. Um, let me get out of this dull part of the city here uh, and show you guys some cool stuff. Here's Wing Tower right here. It looks beautiful. It's massive. I think it's the biggest building in the city. Uh, I do want to find like a big group of guys that we can really sink our teeth into here. I like the challenge, you know. I like I like finding a, a big group of guys that's like almost overwhelming, because uh, that's when I when I can really pull off some of my best combos and I can show you all the different moves of the game. I think we're not in a great area for that though, so let me try to move around the city a little bit. Um, now, what's cool about traversing the city outside of the Batmobile is the grappling in this game. You can upgrade it now. That's that's a that's a good little segue. Let's go into the upgrades menu for first here. Uh, so here's your map. Of the whole city first of all it's pretty big you have three islands here's all the Riddler stuff I still have uh, I've toggled off the other stuff so you guys don't get spoiled by anything but uh, you have Miyagani Island you have Founders Island and then over here we have Bleak Island so there's a lot of stuff to do there's a lot of stuff to explore um, all of these Wayne signals over here are all AR challenges which is the same if you're familiar with the other games as the challenge maps the only difference is you can access them in game now or you can access them from the main menu where you can also access the skins for your bat suit, your Batmobile, and uh, read a little up, up on extra things about the game as well. So uh, next up we have the Bat Computer. This has all your um, Riddler, Riddler riddles and uh, Gotham City stories from unlocks in the game. I'm not going to scroll over to that page because that just spoils everything for you. Um, next over here we have the Wayne Tech. So this is where you can upgrade everything. There are little pillars here, so we can upgrade our gadget skills, we can upgrade our actual gadget tech, uh, we can upgrade our combat moves, the Batmobile itself, the Batmobile's weapons, then uh, finally the bat suit, and then in the middle right here, it's just a reference for your moves if you forget how to do anything, um, you can always check back right there. So uh, yeah, anyway, back to the, well, and then finally we have the Riddler stuff over here, but I don't want to show you too much of that, so you can scroll through that at your own luxury when you get the game. Um, so I've upgraded my grapple hook now in this game you can upgrade it up to five times So instead of just that original two times, let me get low so I can really show you guys this um, You can grapple up to five times uh, Another thing is when you're grappling you can grapple right to the next point see I didn't even oh I messed it up But <laughs> hang on so I didn't even skip a beat right there I can just keep grappling instead of stopping and starting and then for the final one You can really launch yourself up there. I'm above the entire city now um God, I hope they put a photo mode into this game eventually because sometimes this game is really breathtaking. Uh, so I want to head into a, a more troublesome area of Gotham. Maybe we can find some bad guys to womp on here. This is the more s central area where like all the all the big business buildings are and stuff like that. Uh, there's usually guys up to no good over here though. So let's get over there. Um, you can also at any point access the Batmobile. I'm purposefully not using it because I want to save that for my other video as I said. Here we go. We got we got a mess over here. Look at these guys trying to start shit. Fellas, I'm home. Come at me. Let's do it. Hopefully someone will have some weapons uh, so I can show you guys some of the new moves. But you'll get a good sense of what's new here just like this. One big thing is that right there. You can roll... Uh, pick guys up off the ground and continue beating them for critical beatdowns. Um, it, it's a really good way to string together your combos, and uh, it's just all around awesome. Uh, enemies are very diverse in this game, which we will get through later in uh, a different video. But yeah, your combat is as fluid as ever. It's it's really really awesome. Um, none of those guys had weapons on them. That's kind of disappointing. But man, it, it's just really really. It's the pinnacle of the series. The combat, uh, the visuals, the story. This is the Batman game. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, maybe we can find another set of enemies. That will maybe be a little more diverse. I'm going to give it another shot. If not, then again, I'll just make sure I incorporate that in another video when I show you guys uh, the dual play stuff. Um, oh, there's a lot of guys over there. Let's try and find our way over there. Yeah, here we go. It's always good to just fly around the city if you're looking to gain some experience, because there's always troublemakers out here in the city. All you really have to do is hit someone and they all come flocking to you. You don't really have to do much else. Uh, so all the stuff that everyone likes from the Batman series is back. 
Uh, the hit and counter technique, which all different games have copied today, uh, is back. It's better than ever. Everything is fluid. I think it's a lot more accessible even uh, than previous games. Now, I'm going to rock this for you guys real quick, just to show you my, my beastly skills at Batman. I don't want to mess this up too bad, so let me just focus up here real quick. Oh, my, my, oh, I messed it up already. Let me get it. Uh, let me finish these guys off, and we'll get into it uh, with another group of guys. Now, and you have your takedowns right there. If you hold uh, triangle, circle, well, it's different for Xbox. I'm playing on PlayStation 4. Um, yeah, if you hold triangle and circle, you have your takedown moves. Uh, all the old stuff is back. Square and triangle is your uh, disarm move, where you can break the enemy's weapons in half, so they cannot pick them up again. All, all that stuff is back. It's better than ever. It's great. Um, and man, they just give you so much more to use at your disposal. N you, you are unstoppable in this game. Uh, now that's countered by the amount of enemies usually on guard. Um, I think this guy has a weapon. Bring it, guy. No, he just dropped a flare over there. Good. Well, all right. Um, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the combat encounters are really diverse, so you really have to be thinking about what you're doing. Um, right there's another new move. I think we showed that earlier, where enemies can uh, grab you and not break your counter if you if you hit them in time. You can just keep that combo going. Um, yeah, so enemy encounters are, are are populated by more enemies since you have so many things to use. I'm blowing it right now. I'm usually much more better than this, honestly. Um, get out of here. It's hard to play this game and talk. This is not one of those games that's good to play and talk at the same time. I really should have recorded this and then recorded my commentary because I gotta focus when I'm being the Batman, you know? But yeah, the, 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 the challenge is still there is what I'm trying to say, is what I'm getting at here. Um, I know the Batmobile was very controversial, which again, we will see soon enough. I love it. I love this game. This game is a love letter to Batman fans, and as many people know here who watch my content, I am a huge Batman fan. He is one of my favorite superheroes. He is my favorite superhero from DC Comics. Uh, and man, I could have not been happier by, by any other game. Uh, this this game really... What, I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, it's an AR mission. Uh, yeah, this game just nailed it. It's it's beautiful. Everything about this game was was really it, it was as close to being a perfect Batman game as one could get without it being absolutely perfect. But with that said, it does have some things here and there that that I maybe would have changed. Uh, but they're so small to even I don't even find it necessary to bring them up. If I was doing a review, I would obviously bring them up, but. I'm not doing a review. That's not really what I do here. I just enjoy video games, you guys. And this is a really good one, and I, I definitely think you should play it. If I had to put a score on it right now, I'm telling you, it would be a 9 point... Probably a 9.7 for me. Uh, and those little... Those point three points are, are so minor uh, uh, things that I had a problem with. They're just small things that I maybe would have tweaked if I was making the game myself. That would never happen. Um, but yeah, this game is outstanding. It definitely has the Beast NJ stamp of approval. I love it so much. Um, and I think that's a pretty good look at just the open world gameplay here for you. Um, I didn't want to show you too, too much because I'm not trying to spoil things for you guys. Uh, but we will go into detail in some other videos. Oh, let's finish off with this interrogation. Because I'm trying to... I'm, try I'm still working on my Riddler challenges. That's the last thing I have to do. I did everything else. And I'm trying to open them all up so I can... You know, finish the, uh, there's, there's a true ending to this game, and you have to finish everything to get it. Uh, so I'm working on that right now. The best way I find to approach these Riddler, uh, interrogation moments is to not even touch the guy you have to interrogate. I am right now by accident. <laughs> but yeah, if you can, just jump over him. Because if you take him out, you're gonna be so annoyed with yourself. Because you need that intel, and now you can't get it until you find another one. And sometimes they're a little bit hard to come by. Um... So, yeah, just don't even touch him. Just just let him try to hit you and jump over him when you can. It's not worth it. He's, like, really coming at me. I'm just trying to let him be. But some of these Riddler guys will talk back and try not to give you information. Let's see if he does it. I don't know if he will. Yeah, he did it. Sweet. So what you, I did it really quickly. You could barely even see it, but you have a brief second to counter. And if you pull off that counter, he'll wind up talking to you. Um... So it's interesting. This game's always constantly changing things up. That's what I love about it so much. And, um, 
yeah, I can't recommend it enough, you guys. I really hope this this sold it to you. I'm I'm sorry I didn't have. I had so much more I wanted to say, and uh, I just lost everything with, with my power going out. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure I got these Batman videos up for you guys. It's a shame because it, it was gonna be like my big, uh, my a really big week for me, and it kind of got messed up from the storm. Um, but I mean, it's okay. We're still getting these videos up. I wanted to get these up to you guys, so uh, nevertheless, and. Um, yeah, I, I'm obsessed with the game. It's it's something I'm going to be playing for a while. I got the season pass. I have uh, the DLC to play through still. I'm going to be playing this for quite some time. I love every bit of it. Uh, they really put a lot of love into this. It's Rocksteady's final game in the Batman series, so they say. I really hope it's not true, even though it, I, I think it is. Um, because they're at the top of their game here with Batman Arkham Knight. There is no Batman game better than this one. Uh, and that's indisputable. You heard it here first. So, um, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I really hope you enjoyed this look at it. Uh, if you haven't gotten the game yet and you were waiting to check out some gameplay, I hope this did it some justice. Um, it's amazing. If you're thinking about buying it, do yourself a favor. Pick it up. The story is fantastic. The visuals are amazing. The combat, the gameplay, it's all here. This is a great game to play through for the summer. It is definitely uh, a game of the year contender for me. Um, and I can't wait to see what the season pass will bring. I can't imagine how much better this game can possibly get. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at the beast underscore NJ. If you want to know when the other Batman videos will be going live, uh, sometime this week, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, or if you just want to chat and see what else I'm up to and when my other videos will be going live, you can follow me right there at the beast underscore NJ on Twitter. Uh, or just make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll get alerted when the videos go live. It means a whole lot to me. I have a lot of fun stuff planned, a lot of stuff coming your way. Um, I've been on YouTube for over a year now. It's my, it's past my one year anniversary. So I have some funny stuff I want to do and some, just some, some cool stuff I want to talk about with you guys and, uh, some new videos coming. So yeah, definitely make sure you subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support. Uh, thank you guys so much.